Good. I'm sure you probably all have heard about hybrid cars and how they get great gas mileage and their emissions are great. And um, uh, they advertise, um, there's a lot of people that are buying them and selling their cars to buy them. And you see all the SUVs always up for sale. Well, like the new technology for hybrids comes at a cost. The use and production of hybrid cars is actually detrimental to the environment and costly to consumers for three main reasons. One of the biggest reasons is that the batteries that are uh, that you use in hybrid cars contain nickel, and nickel mining is extremely destructive. And it's also much more much more expensive to produce and manufacture hybrid cars than it is to produce standard cars. And also, there are much uh, there are much better alternatives to a hybrid car that offer fuel economy and clean emissions. Now, about the nickel mining, a majority of the nickel used in hybrid cars comes from a mining and smelting plant in Sudbury, Canada. And the smelting process is where they melt ore and then separate the pure metal from the slag, which is waste. And the smelting process produces sulfur. They release the sulfur in the atmosphere, which then causes acid rain, which has destroyed all the forests around Sudbury and it resembles the moon. Also, the particular mine that they mine the nickel from is called an open pit mine. And that's where pretty much they just remove the surface of the earth, they plow down hills, if you ever driven through Corona and you see the big mines off, I think it's um, uh, east of the freeway, that's pretty much an open pit where they just pretty much just plow through the ground. And um, that's destructive the environment also. And the, the second reason is uh, hybrids are much more um, uh, costly to produce than a standard vehicle because uh, to produce them, factories have to retool. There's pretty much two systems, an electrical system and a gas, a gas system that has to be produced for the car. And as an example, um, the Toyota Highlander, it, to produce the Toyota Highlander, it takes about 107 million BTUs of energy. To produce its hybrid counterpart, it's 155 million BTUs. For comparison, the H2 Hummer requires 200 million BTUs to be produced. So a hybrid car is about 50% more costly to produce than a regular car of the same variety. And this energy comes from coal power plants, fossil fuel burning <coughs> power plants, hydroelectric, wherever it's, it's still energy being used. Also, hybrids are more costly to transport. A standard Highland, Toyota Highlander weighs about 4,000 pounds, while a hybrid Highlander weighs about 4,600. In, in uh, 2008, Toyota sold about 19,000 hybrid uh, Highlanders, 1,941 to be exact. This means an additional 5,800 tons had to be transported. The energy required to move this extra weight is probably is about is about the same that it takes to move 20, 2,900 more Toyota Highlanders. So the transportation is very costly and that uses more fuel with diesel for the trucks and for the trains. And lastly, <coughs> there are other vehicles on the market today that offer that are much more cost effective to half the cost of a, of a hybrid and that offer clean emissions and excellent fuel mileage as well. A couple of examples are Jetta's new uh, TDI, Volkswagen's new Jetta diesel. The Scion XB and XA are actually the cheapest vehicles per mile to <coughs> operate. And there's many more such as the Toyota Yaris, Honda Civic. But um, there's just better alternatives than the costly production of hybrid cars. And um, I'll let you guys decide what car you want to drive, but I'm not driving a hybrid. Thank you.